The Parable of the Unjust Manager Why He Was Recommended by the Lord There are important lessons from this parable. Number one, seek to faithfully fulfill your responsibilities. Leadership is not to be used for personal benefit. You must lose the right to be selfish. Great power lies great responsibilities. Sabi po yan ni Spider-Man. Number two, trust God's all-knowing power. He is an omniscient God. You cannot hide anything from God. Everyone rises or falls in the level of integrity. Hindi pera-pera lang ang paglilingkod. Number three, expect to be proactive in facing problems. Good leaders aren't afraid to face reality. Number four lesson. Willing to value relationship. Use your riches or money to gain more friends. Utilize relationship for eternity. The manager received a return of investment. Gamitin po natin ang ating pera para makakuha ng kaibigan hanggang kalangitan. Hindi pandupa lang. Number five lesson. Acknowledge and understand the nature of influence. Leadership is about influence. A true leader must learn to develop his good influence. Number six, lesson. Remind yourself the importance of motivating others. Everyone is motivated in different ways. He found ways to make friends and get result. Result, not only temporary, but for eternity. And last lesson, letter D, develop a good sense of godly leadership. In the end, his masters praise his zrudness. Pinuri po ng kanyang Panginoon ang kanyang pagiging tuso. Before you can be trusted for true riches, you must be trusted first in temporary one. The lesson we learn about the parable of the unjust manager is stewardship. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. Ang mapagkakatiwalaan sa kaunti mapagkakatiwalaan sa malaking bagay. In Espanyol, La Parabola del Administrador Injusto. ¿Por qué fue recomendado por el Señor? 
Número uno. Trate de cumplir fielmente con su responsabilidad. El liderazgo no, de, no debe utilizar. No debe utilizarse para beneficio personal. Número dos. Con pie en el poder omnisciente de Dios. Es un Dios omnisciente. No puedes esconder nada de Dios. Número tres. Espero ser proactivo al enfrentar los problemas. Los buenos líderes no tienen miedo de enfrentar la realidad. Número cuatro. Dispuesto a valorar la relación. Usa recuerdas o dinero para ganar más amigos eternamente. Número 5. Reconozca y comprenda la naturaleza de la influencia. El liderazgo se trata de influencia. Número 6. Recuerde, recuerde la importancia de motivar a los demás. Encontro formas de hacer amigos y obtener resultados. Número 7. Desarrolla, desarrolla un buen sentido de liderazgo piadoso. Al final, so maestro elogio su astucia. La lección que aprendimos sobre la parábola del administrador injusto es la maror, mayordomia debe ser un buen administrador el que es fiel en su mínimo también es fiel en lo más gloria de Dios ang parábola po ay nagtuturo sa atin ang matapat sa konte ay mapagkakatiwalaan sa malaking bagay. Pagpalain tayo ng Diyos.